Quick look at the Dragon MMC memory card interface for the Coco and Dragon. Yeah, let's boot up normally and take a look and see what files we've got on the card. Here you can see a number of folders we've got. Auto exact settings, we'll come back to that. Now we'll go into the CAS folder where I've put the cassette images. Take a look what's in there. Well, okay, let's pick one out and auto run it direct from basic. Okay, we'll go for the snapshot button, which will allow us to reboot the dragon without actually turning on and off or pressing the reset. So we press the C, and we'll do a cold restart. Cat, see which, where we are. Back, still in the CAS folder. So we'll go back to the root folder. And now we'll load up the auto exact file, which is the explorer. M load A. What we'll do now is we'll go into the boot settings and enable auto exec. So we'll set auto exec to on. We'll press X to come out. Then we'll press the snapshot button on the card itself and do another cold reboot. Now the Explorer will start by itself. Okay, let's load another CAS file. Go to the CAS folder. Let's load Chucky Egg. Very quick game here, just quick round screen, pick up a few things, and then we'll try the snapshot button and snave a snapshot. This will allow us to come back into the game. Okay, so let's press that snapshot button. Press S for save, so we can now save our snapshot. We'll just call it CE1 here. Okay, that's it saved. And now we'll do a cold reboot and it'll take us back into the Explorer. Now we're going to go back in and load the snapshot from the snapshot folder which was set up previously. There's our snapshot, C1 SSD. Open that. Now it's going to load it back in. We're back exactly where we left off and we can carry on gaming. Right, we'll hit the snapshot button again, do another cold reboot. This time we'll uh, we'll go and open a ROM. There's a ROMs. There we go. Astro Blast. Now we'll press the force reset button on the Dragon MMC and press reset. And that allows us to come completely out of the ROM without actually turning the unit on and off. Okay, we're going to turn disk mode on now. Again, through the boot options menu. Exit out. Snapshot, another cold boot. Now we can look at disks. Okay, we just press enter, select that. Press one to mount it on one. Now we can just do a L and list the disks we've got mounted. There you go, you can see it listed. You press one and then that does a quick DIR on that disk image. See Cuthbert goes walkabout. Okay, we'll exit out. Now we can do a DIR and actually use DOS and see the files. Okay, now we'll load it up. Okay. 
You can take that. Here you go, Cuthbert goes walkabout. Okay, a quick intro there. Giving me a quick run through of all the ROMs, discs, snapshotting, and cassette images. Thanks a lot.